guys, this is Monica with Rhymo Plans and today I'm here to start setting up my 2022 budget planner. It's kind of hard to believe that it's time to set up my 2022 budget planner and we only have a little bit of 2021 left. It's been a crazy two years, <laughs> year, two years, um, but this planner has just helped me so much just stay on track with the budget, even though we've had months where we hasn't been great. Um, it's helped me kind of see where we are and where we're going and what our goals are and how we want to get there. Um, this was my 2021 budget planner. I did the gold coil in 2021. I had the gold, black coil in 2020. I decided to go back to the black coil because I love the black coil. This is where my heart is. I just, it makes me so happy to have a black coil on my planner. I don't know, <laughs> but I decided also to go with a very simple cover for this year. Just the simple animal print. I didn't even get it personalized and I just love this. Um, and because I didn't have it personalized, if I decide to change out the cover, it's no big deal. So I am using the same type of planner. I'm using the 7 by 9 Erin Condren monthly planner. Um, I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out along with pretty much everything that I'm going to be using today to help set up the planner. So I'm going to be doing this in three of these videos. I think that's probably going to be the best option for me. The first one will probably be very short <laughs> and then the other two may be a little bit longer. Um, so today in my planner, we are going to be setting up the year at a glance page and then we are going to be setting up the 12 boxes page. So there's a lot of things that you can do with these two pages and I've done many things with them in the past, the past couple of years. Um, this one, I kind of have kept the same. I do paydays, holidays, important things that we need to make sure that we're aware of on these. And then in 2020, I did kind of a budget snapshot of my, um, just kind of a budget snapshot of my finances. So I did what our income was, what our expenses was, what we did, went, did the savings, what we did to debt, all of that, which was really nice. This, um, in 2021, I changed it to do our debt tracker. So I had all of our, I made stickers with all of our debts and listed what we paid and what the balance is. And that was really nice too. This time I think I'm gonna do something different. I think I'm actually going to do a savings tracker. And so we'll see how this turns out. And then we have this page, which typically goes with January, but I don't use this page as January. I typically will put just some like goals and intentions that I have for my finances. And I haven't decided um, exactly how I'm gonna set this up. So I'm gonna leave this one blank. Um, and everything. I am still working through my 2022 goal setting. And so I really just kind of want to finalize what my financial goals are going to look like. Let's go back to this page. Um, now, I know that there are Flora transparent stickers um, because I did go with the Flora plan. They also have the mid-century circles designed in the seven by nine. The eight and a half by 11 has just the mid-century circles design but I did not get Flora transparent stickers and I did not make some because I don't have that paper. So I went ahead and just pulled the transparent squares that I do have. And these are from Planner Kate, they're sheets S 1337. I don't know if she has discontinued these or what. I will try to find these and link these below. I know that she is retiring a lot of her sheets. So if I can't find this sheet, I will find a comparable sheet or even if I can find the transparent, she, if she has a transparent section on her site, then I will find that too. And I used this last year. So last year, so last year, this is how it ended up. I did singing funds, paydays and birthdays up here. I don't know if I'm going to label it this year. I'm not really sure. And I did this key. I haven't really decided about 
the key either. I haven't done the key. So I'm still trying to narrow down exactly what all I want on there. I'm going to go ahead and put what I know that I want. And then I'm going to think about a couple of different things. So, but I, I do have this off to the side for reference. So I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife. I just find it's a lot easier for me to use my X-Acto knife with these stickers and then the first thing that I'm going to do is put our paydays down. Now my husband and I we get paid on the same day which is really nice because we get a really good paycheck every other week um, but there is definitely something to be said about getting some money every week but we do get paid on the same day so I'm going to use this green color for that and our last paycheck of the year in December is actually it's actually on Christmas Eve so I know that the first paycheck of January and I'm gonna just flip this over so the first paycheck of January is gonna be the seventh so that's just how these squares look they are the perfect size for this I will say however the squares are a lot if you want all of your squares straight, they're a lot harder to get straight than the circles. So if you are one of those people that like everything straight, I would probably go with the circles unless you just want to spend a lot of time or unless you can put down stickers straight. I cannot. So, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and just put all of these, all of the paydays down before we move on to the rest of it. And I'll probably speed it up and put some music to it. dates down and I like it because I can easily see that April and September are my three paycheck months and you can see that I can't I put this one the fifth on the wrong date and it when I pulled it up it did pull up um, the paper a little bit and that's just with the transparent paper it's not removable <laughs> so um, you just have to be a little bit careful with that so that is the first thing that I wanted to put on here so the next thing I do want to do is the birthdays. So in January, we have my husband's birthday. And then we also have my grandmother's birthday. In February, we have my stepdad's birthday. And these are birthdays that we probably will do something for or with them for their birthday. So I don't put everyone's birthday down, but if I foresee that we will be spending money for them, then I will put them down. 
So for March, one of my best friend's birthday is on the 12th. My daughter's birthday is on the 26th. And then my mom's birthday is on the 30th. And we don't have any birthdays in April, but my sister's birthday is on in May. It's May 11th, even though she pretty much celebrates the entire month. Which there's nothing really wrong with that. Um, we don't have any in June. Um, my brother-in-law's birthday is July 2nd. And then my birthday is August 2nd. My dad's birthday is August 9th. And my aunt's birthday is the 25th. And then we don't have anything in September or October and November 7th is my stepmom's birthday. November 12th is my mother-in-law's birthday. And then we don't have anything in December. So those are the major birthdays that we will probably either have dinner with or um, get a gift for or anything like that. So that is important to know while we go through our gift syncing find of when we need to have money. We can see what months have a lot of birthdays, what months don't. The next thing that I wanna do is put down my husband's tuition payments. Um, so we know when to expect those. We have already made the payment for the um, spring semester. Yeah, spring semester. <laughs> So we actually only have to make two because the next one is the spring semester is due like in January. Um, so we are going to use, so I'm going to use this like a dark teal color just because we only have five of those left and I only need like four. So the first one is in May. So we will need to make a payment in May and I'm just gonna mark the first of May and then we'll need to make a payment in August and even though the next payment will be due in January I'm gonna go ahead and mark December because we'll need to start looking at that and we will probably end up making that payment in December so that is the school tuition and we've been blessed where he's gotten scholarships and stuff so we've had to pay very little and we have gotten refunds all of the semesters but we do have that money set aside just in case and then for the car taxes I am going to go ahead and use pink so my husband's car taxes are going to be due January 31st and then my car taxes should be due May 31st So, and those come out of the auto sinking funds. A lot of this is looking at our sinking funds and seeing when we need to have that money ready that has a timeline. So I like to see it on a visually on a calendar. It just helps me when I'm doing my yearly planning and monthly planning. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through the list of my sinking funds. So we have Amazon Prime and I'm gonna use this mint color for that. And that usually comes out sometime in July. So I'm gonna just mark that July 1st. That's for Amazon. For Christmas, I am gonna use this dark blue color. And I'm gonna mark this as November 1st. And um, because we like to have pretty much all of our Christmas money funded by November 1st because we start doing a heavy part of our shopping in November. So even though Christmas is not until December, 
I'm still going to mark it on November 1st. And then my husband's shutdown. It is the first two weeks of July. Since I've already marked July 1st and 2nd, I'm going to mark it on the 3rd. And that is when he, his company shuts down for two weeks. Part of that is unpaid. So we have a sinking fund to do part of his income. That way when those paychecks hit where it's only like half a week, then we just move the money over and we basically don't miss a beat with that. And one thing I'm going to do this year that I didn't do last year is put the holidays on here. And I'm going to try to get them all by memory, <laughs> at least the main ones. So we have New Year's. Then we have Valentine's Day. Um, I can't remember when Easter is, so I'll have to mark that a little bit later. And then we have July 4th. Labor Day, I believe, is the 5th. And Memorial Day, I can't remember if it's the 23rd or the 30th, so I'm going to leave that one blank for right now. We have Halloween. Thanksgiving and then Christmas. All right, so that is all I'm going to put on here for right now. So this gives us a good idea of our paydays, holidays, birthdays, and then sinking funds when we should be um, keeping an eye out for that. And then I will go ahead and make a key for everything as well. So then turning the page, we get to the this 12 boxes page. This page, um, this is in my shop on the for the monthly script stickers. And since this is the same script that I'm using for my budget stickers this year, I am gonna go ahead and use these for this monthly page. So you can find this in my shop. I do have a printable shop on Etsy. So I'm just gonna go through and put this down here. grab so this is my 2022 um, budget kit for the seven by nine so I'm gonna grab this page right here and this is designed for the 12 boxes page so I did it to where you could use it for a multitude of things so it has beginning end, paid added spent interest assets liabilities difference and total so I like it because no matter what you want to do, if you want to do it, use it as a debt tracker, net worth tracker, um, savings tracker, anything like that, then you're going to have um, the scripts to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the beginning, added, spent, and then end stickers. So because we're going to do the savings. And I think I may just keep this a goal as a dream with a deadline and I'm going to see how this looks to skip a line to so do a beginning added spent and then ending. So I kind of like that because it just it gives it enough space in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all of this in here.
All right, so that's the first six months of the year. Yeah, I really like the skipped lines look. So it's not super crowded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the last six months. beginning of my budget planner all set up so I like how it turned out um, just very clean looking I may come up here and cover that up I'm just not sure and then we have this page as well and I picked up a pack of the three bookmarks so I'm just gonna grab these and I'm just gonna put this one here to kind of mark my spot, everything for these pages. So let me know down below if you have a budget planner, if you've started setting it up, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day.